Since we're on the topic of creating new states from whole cloth, for nothing more than obviously partisan political reasons, allow me to introduce to you the newest addition to the Union, the free state of Husatuck. I brought this idea up as a joke a few months ago, but since we're no longer joking, allow me to introduce to you the 23 towns that lie between the Housatonic and Naugatuck River Valleys, and which most reliably vote for Team Red, as they did here in 2018 when voting in the gubernatorial election. Ours is a series of towns that, because of a Team Blue supermajority of senators and representatives from gerrymandered districts dominated by four or five massive cities, never have our interests represented in Hartford, and are constantly having to deal with legislation from Hartford none of us want. And don't even get me started on our political representation in D.C. Yes, we have representatives that attend legislative sessions in Hartford, but so does Washington, D.C. when it comes to Congress. No taxation without representation, am I right? No part of the region is culturally like the rest of Connecticut when it comes to their politic, and you could say the region is socio-politically distinct. Population and land area don't matter, but the new free state is dense enough to consider itself the sixth most densely populated state in the Union, between Maryland and Delaware, and if you're going to be inconsistent and demand a minimum population threshold, I'd be happy to expand our over 300,000 residents to include those from surrounding towns to the north, south, and a little bit to the east, which would make us larger than Rhode Island in terms of land area, and also no longer the least populous state in the Union. And even if we accept those other towns into the free state of Housatuck, we'd still be leaving behind more than two people with three electoral college votes to themselves, unlike how the new reduced borders of the future District of Columbia would be drawn, where the only residence appears to be 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, where Joe and Jill would have three electoral college votes for themselves in Joe's re-election bid in 2024. As far as I can tell, the only residence in the district is right here, the White House. So if the House passes its bill tomorrow and the Senate were to approve it for the president's signature, then Donald and Melania Trump need only change their voter registration from Florida to Washington to get their own three electoral votes. I can't help but think this isn't what Nancy Pelosi had in mind. Nothing to see here. So if you're like me and Miss Red Cortez and are happy to introduce another state to the union for obviously purely partisan political reasons, and especially if you live in any of these 23 towns, let's chat. Let's meet up. And let's get this ball rolling. Updates to come. Good night, folks.